Hey there, Nolan and Jason with Roofing Webmasters. Howdy. This one is way more interesting than it sounds. <laughs> and it is, it is the, actually. Is the name of your roofing company preventing you from showing up on Google? And so I don't know when this became like more serious, but what's ended up happening is like it's just slowly become a more serious train wreck over time. Yeah. And as there's more roofers, similar names, people trying to get up in ranking, people cheating, people stuffing, all these things going on. And then Google's sentiment towards it and the user's intent or sentiment towards it right. has all come together. And as I would go for so far as to say that up to 50% of all the roofing companies have a problem with their name in some way. Yeah. Around half, maybe. <clears throat> now, before we start in on it, I, I, we're gonna—I'm I'm gonna be a little more professional in this podcast and uh, list three things that we're gonna talk about. <laughs> so, we're gonna talk about how to know if you should change your company name, how to pick the best name, and what to look out for and know. And I want to very specifically disclaimer: we're not telling you to change your name. We're not your legal counsel. <laughs> you need to seek an attorney. None of this is a legal matter. None of it. This isn't about trade bars. Well, they could turn it into a legal matter if they screw up and pick the oh, no, wrong No, no, I mean, I mean the, the advice we're giving is not right. based on legal stuff. It's not about trademarks. It's not about that stuff. It's just about how Google views this yeah, stuff. Yeah, the point is they need to be careful about trademarks. I'll talk about trademarks well, yeah. and intellectual property, and people will brush it off like I'm crazy. Well, I had somebody the other day want to use the brand of material as the company name. Oh yes, they were it's, they were going to try to hijack a major manufacturer's yes. brand name and, and use for it their repair and add the word repair LLC behind it. It's clearly against the law. <laughs> and the guy was like, "You're crazy." And I'm like, "Just do it." No, just do it. And I'm like, "No, we're, we're not even we're gonna, not going to be a party to that and end up getting named in a lawsuit." Right, right, right. So anyway, you need to do your due diligence and check and make sure your name's available. Yeah. Is it taken in your state? Is it taken through, uh, you know, nationally by someone else. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons people get in trouble. A lot of names are taken. So they'd go yeah. and love to have the perfect name. Like, you know, I know we're, we're in uh, Texas and Fort Worth, so they could have Lawn Star Roofing or well, somebody's got it already. Yeah. Or Cowtown Roofing, somebody's got it, I'm sure. All yeah. this stuff is gone. Yeah, you just have so, to kind of let go. <laughs> so a lot of people will kind of give up and just pick something that's, you know, um, kind of already taken. Now that brings in the problems. So like, what are all the problems and why might someone not show up? If you take a name that sounds like someone else's name and it's even legal, it's technically, oh by God, it's legal. If Google doesn't, I mean, if Google thinks it's too close. If it's close, so close that Google can't tell the difference, right? they're just gonna equate you with them and that other yeah. person's gonna get all your traffic. What he said. Yeah. So, so at some point, Google needs to be able to distinguish a brand. Yeah. There's a lot of little intricate points in here that can screw you up. Now, one of these things may or might, may or may not screw you up, and I'll talk about when is a good time or not a good time to change a name, if depending on how well you're doing online or how much credentials you have. But um, if Google sees, you know, Purple Widget Roofing Company and somebody comes out with purple widgets or super purple widgets or better purple widgets roofing company, Google just may not give you any credit for your company at all. Right. And, and actually take all that branded signaling that you might even produce and apply it to the other company and give them credit for it. Now, they won't actually come outward and show you this, but the algorithm's looking for signaling from a brand. And the whole point of this is if you don't have a good distinguish, distinguishable strong brand, um, they won't be able to tell what signals belong to you. Right, exactly. They, they don't know which signals are indicative of you. They, they, right. They, it, that, which, which is kind of funny because we said it's not a legal matter. Because one of the old arguments in trademark is confusion in the marketplace. Well, this is confusion in the algorithm. It's a uh, similar issue. Yeah, so you could run into that legally, but um, I actually had the word confusion a market confusion written down, yeah. which could easily become a, a legal issue if someone decided to call issue with your name that you had 
similar to theirs. Right. But a lot of people nowadays, and these aren't as dumb as they used to be. I used to hate these names, but it'd be like Red Rooster Roofing or Blue Monkey Roofing. And and nowadays, it's like, okay, that's pretty cheesy. Like, what does Blue Monkey have to do with roofing? That's pretty cheesy. But, I, in fact, I, that may be a name of one that I talked to the other day. <laughs> and his child had picked it. Okay. He's like, I like the color blue and I like monkeys and he's like, that's it son blue monkey roofing <laughs> I think it might be a guy I talked to the guy I was talking to yesterday was like, the name of his, he's a new client yeah. uh, returning client uh, his company name is actually his son's names run together is that what that is yeah okay he, he told me the story um, oh, I won't yeah. give the names yeah, yeah, yeah. but he was mad at him because and he went out on his back porch and was yelling at him to do something and he got flustered and combined the names oh. together when he said it, and, he, and, he, and it stuck in his head. So he named his company. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and, it, and it's a good, unique name. Yeah. So um, Google needs to know who you are. They need to distinguish you definitely, and they need that denotes a good brand. Now, a lot of people will go in, and I've had a couple of these lately. So th this this just keeps coming up. Now sometimes, if I'm talking to somebody, I bring it up. Sometimes I don't. It depends on all these various factors. So um, somebody had called the other day, looking for leads. This is not this podcast, but when somebody screws their name up and screws up their market presence and screws up their foot forward to Google, they're pretty much prevented from ever participating in the big show. Right. So I mean, I should have said that up front. Like this is way more important than you think because you'll never get cheap leads if you don't figure this shit out. Right. Right. So this guy had named. That's what makes this topic more interesting than it sounds. Is it seems simple, but it's actually a fundamental aspect yeah. of participation in the big show. Like you Before said. I talk about this guy with a general name, those blue monkey or whatever roof and then, and then the word roof with it, that's a distinguishable, distinct brand. Right. And it is a good brand and it works. So you could be a gray beard roofing. Gray beard roofing. There you are. <laughs> oh, so whatever, something like that. And it would be good, right? Yeah. Probably one of those already. That there pretty, probably is one. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's going to steal that. What yeah, you yeah, somebody's going to steal that. That's a good one. Um, but yeah, so uh, thou shalt not pass through me. I don't know. Anyway, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, that, that's a good brand. So you have a distinguishable word mm -hmm. that's not usually used with the word roof. And the word roof is a user intent. I'm going to segue a couple of times here and explain some stuff. If you do full construction services, it's maybe okay, and we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, it's like, I know where you're going. But if you do 80, 85% roofing, and you just like working the hell out of insurance estimates, which is fine, and the Xactimate and all that, um, you might legitimately do half roofing and half other stuff, or even less than half roofing and other stuff. And it can be okay. But if you're really a roofer and the word roof isn't in it, it will lower your direct uh, correlation to user intent. Right. We, we get a lot of guys come in that have used construction or... Builder, home exteriors, exteriors. That's a big one. And it's like, I get what you're going for. You're trying not to pigeonhole yourself as just a roofer because a lot of them want to expand to different services. Most um, of them don't want to expand. Some of them do. Up north. Yeah. Up north, yes. Yeah, true. Yeah. And it's just, it's better to just have roofing, roofer, or roof. If they're the mainly name. doing roofing. Yeah, when, if that's their main business. So when you ask all these guys, they're almost always 80 plus percent roof. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't hurt to throw on gutter and um, soffit fascia by fascia all that and it, maybe you even throw on siding but if it's 80 plus percent roof the word roof is best in the name because it matches user intent and it should be first not not first in the name but first if, if you've got name roofing you know and then list of services like roofing siding and gutters graybeard make construction and roofing yeah for example yeah. Graybeard construction and roofing. I love that. No, That's actually I love good. that Graybeard <laughs> roof. Sounds like somebody you can. That, that man's been around and knows his roofs. Um, but he's a wise old roof. Yeah. 
<laughs> there you go, wise old, wise old river. That's, That's a good one too. <laughs> you guys take these. So, um, but what Jason means that it, it you don't want to look like your keyword stuffing or after the fact. So if it's gray beard construction and roofing, you tend to see those. We tend to see those not do as well in ranking. Right. Because it looks like what it probably is, which is somebody threw the word roofing on because they heard Nolan and they Jason. They used to be great gray beard construction. Oh, I got to get roofing on that. And I'm roofing. Stuck it on. And they'll they'll treat it like you treated it, like an afterthought. So right. they'll they'll kind of penalize. Now, if Google doesn't think user intent's being met, and uh, as evidenced by click through rates and bounce and all that, they just won't um, they just won't put you up high in ranking. Sometimes, so if you're in a highly competitive market, and someone's looking for a roofer, they typically want to find a roofer. They don't want a builder. They don't want a construction guy. They don't want a contractor. And to you, you're like, well, this is ridiculous, but it's the, it's just, and there's no conspiracy theories here. It's just Google trying to literally give the best product, the best search results to the user. Right. Uh, it, it, the algorithm is literal. If someone asks for a roofer, it wants to show them a roofer. Right. And if it doesn't have any roofers to show, then it'll show the next closest thing that yeah. it can figure out, but it's going to start with roofers. So this has started to turn a little bit. So if anybody's listened through this, that is truly a GC, you're doing more exterior work and roofing is not 80 plus percent or they already have an entrenched site, which we'll get into that. Yeah. And they're in a smaller area or a large amount of smaller areas like uh, New Jersey comes to mind, uh, New Hampshire, like these, a lot of, there's all these little townships everywhere and all that. And so you can end up in a moderately populous area with and even even had this happen um, the other day with somebody outside of DFW that we we're just talking about and and they'll have not have the word roof in the name yeah and still show up in Pack Three mapping but it, it today as of today we haven't been seeing this in medium large and I'm going to define this as quarter million people and up so when there's a quarter million people there and you go look for a roofer in Dallas TX, it is so rare that you'll find somebody without the word roof in the name. Right. Now, if they're up north and they truly do do siding and uh, repointing and all this stuff with roofing, um, doors, windows, etc., cetera, um, they can show up in ranking in these uh, northern towns, these smaller northern towns, without the word roof in the name. Yeah. But it's so common that even the local people sometimes want someone to do more stuff. So someone comes and redoes a roof and repoints the chimney and I, you know, cause it's a 150 year old home, they got to put new, new uh, grout in or whatever it is, or redo the steps that are sinking on the front of the house. And they want that other guy in there. Yeah. But if you're in Dallas. They want their guy to just handle everything. Yeah, yeah. or Denver or Orlando and um, some of these mega markets like this, it's very rare to see somebody without the word roof in the name. Is somebody want, and there's so much storms in these areas, people want that roof or smaller towns, New England areas. I do see it where it's just fine. Yeah. Or if it's in an offshoot small market of a big market, Google's starting to let them in sometimes. And I think it's because part of them is like, okay, this is kind of unfair. And it could be that Google's noticed that there's a movement towards getting more work done from uh, construction or general contractor that works on exterior stuff. Right. But uh, if you went back a year, this never happened. If you're roofer, you're in pack three. Yeah. If you had the word roof in the name, you're in the pack three uh, potential. If you don't have the word roof in the name, you're not there. I'm talking about mapping only right now. Yeah. yeah. Or but it but it's helpful when the word roof strings through the site, meaning the URL or dot com and the GBP and the Google bit the, your map. So that is the strongest position to be in historically. We've done this for 13 years. So we've been doing this through almost the entire time that the map could have popped up. Not quite, but well, yeah, we're, we're some about. years off. We're a few years off. But historically from what we've seen um, and what has happened, the word roof would have been preferable. But recently uh, I've been seeing it pop up, especially in some of these markets where they really do do a lot of other stuff. And if somebody's in roofing as a primary, but they're going to starve if they don't do siding or something else uh, during the winter time, it can work just fine. A lot of the guys up north will focus on like decks and porches and pergolas. Fencing. 
yeah. Maybe not as much fencing, but um, sometimes some concrete work, not as often, but they'll run through that stuff and it can work. Nolan Walker here for Data Pens. You may not know, but I own a software company and we have a proprietary software called Data Pens, D A T A P I N S. You can search it at datapens.com. This is not white labeled. I actually own this piece of software and I made it for you. It was made for contractors. You can actually take pictures of jobs up to six, make a caption about the material, the, the brand, the situation, the, the repairs, and post that back to your individual pages on your website, just like that. It's super simple, anyone could use it. It also texts and emails your clients, direct links to your reviews, so it helps reputation and reviews, which helps conversion and map placement. The geo coordinate gets grabbed by data pens and Google can tell where you are. So instead of them just seeing reviews, they see all jobs or even estimates that you do. This vastly outperforms just getting reviews, helps the map show up, helps organic keywords. And remember those captions that you're putting in there help expand the keywords per page and it's great regular content. I love it. We made it just for you. It is organic optimization on steroids for both your website, your rankings, and the map placement. Check out data pens. I think you'll be happy you did. I'll go back to um, somebody that was roofing recently. I won't say the name of the company, but it was a metal roofer, metal roofing. And they called looking for leads. And, and in my opinion, when someone usually calls looking, when, when someone calls looking for leads, there's almost always 90% of the time they have screwed up the essence of their brand or like there's a visible problem or a lack of effort towards right. specifically when someone calls looking to buy leads correct not i need to generate leads that's the best you know that's that's a I good question I mean, yeah. or a good call but if i need to buy leads i need a lead today i need a lead well some of those people are just hurting and want to lead yeah but but most of the time like this guy was in metal roofing he'd done it for four years and so what had happened, and, and I've had this happen twice. I'm going to talk about it. I won't mention these companies' names, but I've had it happen twice, and I find it interesting. So most leads that you could possibly get come from Google. Your map, your reputation reviews, and organic. And I don't know, there's, we got a ton of podcasts about that kind of stuff, but over 80% of people still go to Google to look for stuff, and over 70% looking for an, or clicking on a non-paid item. People right. want to see the brand. They want to see brand synergy. We can talk about that a little bit too for proper conversion. All this stuff matches in together. I would argue that brand synergy and conversion and everything goes down when you start picking a generic name. So not only did they have the word metal roofing with like a city or a state, which is- So a, it was like location metal roofing. Yeah, it, it, just to use one here, Dallas Roofing Company, LLC. Yeah. The business owner will argue and start, well, by God, it's an LLC I got with the state. <laughs> and Google doesn't give a crap about yeah, that. They not, not at all. Not at all. Now, I'm not even telling you that might not show up in rankings. So, and I'm not being hypocritical here. It is best to have an identifiable brand. Every once in a while, Google will take a general phrase, which is dangerous and probably a bad idea because it's, intentionally trying to gain the search engine, but every once in a while they'll take a, a, a brand, a, a general phrase and they will, they will recognize that entity to that and it will work. Yeah. And I think I, I actually was having uh, the conversation I had yesterday with the returning client, we touched on this exact thing. And it's important to remember that if you get Dallas Roofing Company, um, yes, you will show up for that search term. Right. If, 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 if your company name is Dallas Roofing Company LLC and your URL is Dallas might, Roofing Company. Let's rephrase, dot, you might, might show up. Might. Yeah. DallasRoofingCompany.com and, and all that. And someone goes to their computer or their phone and sits down and says, Dallas Roofing Company. You have a leg up to show up on that one search term. Yeah. But you are there for throwing away a thousand other Re really terms. 90 per plus percent of, of the volume of search terms potentially. Yeah. But I, I also would like to say that 
this stuff comes and goes, and you don't want a precarious brand. Right. Google could easily just say, you know what, we've had enough of you guys gaming this and putting in general search phrases that don't create a good grant, brand or brand awareness. We're having a hard time uh, identifying the branded activity and whether if someone searches for that term, if it's you or not. We're just taking all that out. And that does happen over the course of time. Google yeah. just say enough. And, well, I made the point uh, in my conversation yesterday that roofing, yes, roofing is a service, but within that there's a whole bunch of little things you do that people will search for that you want to show up for. Right. But you, you'll see a lot of like retail locations using a general name as their company name and their domain name to show up for that. But I made the point that I know there's a local barber shop that is Fort Worth Barber Shop. Right. And I know the guy that owns it, and he used to be in marketing and advertising it, and he named it that for the keyword relevance. Which used to you could get away with. Yeah. yeah. And he still does, but he's a barber shop. Right. He he literally, when people are searching for a barber shop, that's what they put in. Right. Barber shop. And if they're looking for a local one, they might say Fort Worth Barber Shop. So he gets that one. The backstory on the guy that the first guy, the roofer, was yeah. that he's he's a he's got a unique brand for one area, but he was telling Jason he was going to move to another county. He was thinking of using a different and it brand. Was, at it the was other county location. roofing, uh, county roofing. Yeah, yeah. And that was the name of the company. And it, if you got something in your, because people say, "Oh, Nolan, I, Jason, I know a guy who has this," but it's not a good brand. Right. And they may or may not stay up for it. And, and this, this guy with the metal roofing actually had someone come over the top of him and market hard and took a similar name. And that name got pegged as the proper entity for the area. Right. So he was screwed, basically. And, so, when, it, and when it's a general name, trademark is much harder to So we're not giving legal, legal advice, stuff. but we talk about it all the time because I had, I've had, I had something happen in a different business a long time ago, and I, yeah. I just dealt with this a lot it's very difficult to protect your brand if your brand is a general keyword term yeah you had to have to go check this with someone else it's like hey you can't use dallas roofing coming in fact i'll tell you something really interesting do you way back when we first started because we started so long ago i was talking to a guy that was in san antonio and the name of his company and he's I, he's got to be gone but he's not it i don't care I'm, i'll mention this one because this was like 10 years ago Okay. He said, by God, everyone's using my name and I'm calling attorneys and all this. And he's calling people. This was the premise. He had his company, oh, by, this is my name, LLC, San Antonio Company, or San Antonio Roofing Company, LLC. He would call people and try to get them to stop optimizing a page of content for the word San Antonio, San Antonio roofing, roofing at all. Oh, my God. So because it's a keyword phrase, there's no, he, he had no basis for it. And yeah. I'm like, and he was like, well, what a, I said, like, we're not helping you do that. That's crazy, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like, a, it's like, in fact, I don't like the name. The, but the guy, um, but that, that name probably didn't stick. Um, oh, I'm and sure eventually, but uh, that was a long time ago. But it's a wrong thought press process to have because Google can't, they're not going to say, oh, well, we'll, we'll just, not show anybody because you have some legal technicality on an LLC. Yeah, yeah. Study. Google does not care about your legal status yeah. at all. So look, all, all of this happens. It, sh it should be pointed out. Everything that we're talking about, there's no human being that looks at these and goes, okay, we'll give this guy San Antonio roofing. Right. Uh, it's an algorithm and it doesn't, it doesn't even reference legal matters. It's just looking at the usage of terms in search online and people's behavior around them and deciding how to rank things based on that. And it's a free platform that someone yeah, can choose that. to participate in or not. And Google yeah. can choose to let you have a free page or not. Right. They have banned people and shut them out before. So if you don't like their policies and stuff, you can always not participate, but you'll miss the best leads that exist today and have for years. All right. So, and I'll tell, I'll talk about what the best case scenario is again and wrap some of this up. But so it'd be nice not to have a phrase. Um, if you're um, keyword stuffing stuff like graybeard construction and roofing, 
it's better than nothing possibly and might work, but it'd be better if it reversed the other way. A lot of times if you change the name of your company, by the way, which we're not necessarily suggesting to you, we're just telling you all these things. That's your decision. But, but you uh, should probably think about it in should some, in should some prob- cases. should probably yeah. be very careful. And I'll talk about, you know, should it be changed and what the situation is. But if somebody, uh, sometimes when people change the name and they go to change it on Google Business Profile, just, just to forewarn you, you'll lose your your map and your Google Business Profile. Just yeah, straight, you, you, just, you'll get a suspension and you'll have to go through a process and to and get sometimes it reinstated. Sometimes you can lose the whole thing. Yeah, just, yeah and, just be clear. and there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah. So sometimes, I mean, we have entered name changes for clients and Google just goes, okay, fine. Verification number. Thank you. And move, sometimes move along. Uh, somebody lost the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the other part of it is it's, if Google asks for uh, legal documentation to prove that's your name, um, sometimes that'll help push it through. But if you, if, but if you're just changing names and willy nilly changing stuff, there's a higher likelihood of losing everything, but there's a chance of losing everything anyway. Yeah. And that's just the truth of it. If you start messing with it because so many people screw with them, they're very sensitive towards it. They want to make sure they have a great brand. It's not trying to screw stuff around Google, not trying to keyword stuff things into it. Like Greybeard Roofing, Siding, Windows, and Gutters, LLC, you know, <laughs> yeah. or whatever. And we see that. We see yeah. people where they're trying to list every service in right. the name. And that's right. just Greybeard Roofing, idea. Roof Repair, Roof Replacement, Storm Damage, and Insurance Claims Help. Yeah, I don't know LLC, and <laughs> so, LLC. so it happens all the time. So um, that'd be intentional keyword stuffing and uh, unintentional keyword. Nolan, that's the name of my company. Well, doesn't matter. So I just I yeah. did intentional keyword stuffing, and I'd imagine in my head someone saying, "Well, bargain all those." Okay, it doesn't matter if it looks keyword stuffy. You could cause a problem. Right. All right, and it doesn't matter if you intentionally did it or unintentionally did it, or if you paid some. Uh, people that uh, did it for you, right? And you unintentionally third party someone, you know, third what it doesn't matter. Nolan Walker here for Roofers Paradise. Thank you for checking out our podcast here for Roofing Webmasters, where we talk about nothing but marketing. But I'd love for you to check out Roofers Paradise, where I personally interview and talk with roofers. We talk about their successes, their failures, their dreams, their goals and ambitions. It's a great podcast where we actually speak to roofers. Love to have you check out Roofers Paradise. You can find us on YouTube by searching Roofers Paradise. Any platform for podcasts, search Roofers Paradise. Be sure to subscribe, or you can actually go to roofersparadise.show. Look forward to having you over at Roofers Paradise. All right, uh, roof not in the name. We went over that. Uh, Sounds like the competition. Um, We kind of went over that. We touched on that. But I'm going to talk about it again because we had this really interesting thing happen. and, and I went over kind of roofing not in the name. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's not okay. If it's in the, the larger the market, and only recently in the last year has it been kind of okay. Like, hey, they got the word construction or the word contractor or whatever. And, it, and some of those people are optimizing now in the pack three. Yeah. And a lot of this, we're talking about pack three. Guys, it's a different episode. But the non-mapping stuff is incredibly valuable. And it's best if a brand flows through your .com and your website's over half your search. You don't know it. Every roofer, every business owner, not even roofer, any any general contractor that does home services, plumber, roofer, HVAC, fence, they all think that the map is the only clicks there are. Right. It's completely wrong. And it's it's evidenced by analytics on from Google stating it. If your organics handled properly on your website, it will beat the map. Right. I'm talking about the map here because it's so sensitive to the name of the company. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it, it should be noted that the map, there's a lot of searches that you can show up for that the map doesn't even show for. There, that that uh, no three pack has even shown. It's a different one, but, and I don't even think people believe me when I say it out loud. It, yeah. it, if, if organic keywords are handled properly through the website, they are more than the clicks from the map. Yeah, by far. Yeah, By far. But the name seems to affect the map, and the map is what all contractors, roofers included, think is the best thing to show up on. And it's great. We want to show up on the map. So Yeah, we don't, we're not against the map. We're yeah. just, there is more to life than the there map. There is. All right. So um, there was a, um, let's talk about this. There's a, a guy I spoke to, really interesting conversation. Again, I'm not going to mention the name at all. 
it was a weird deal in a pretty large market. Everybody knows this market. I'm not even going to mention the market. And it was his uh, name, first and last, in the word roofing. The okay. last name was spelled... Uh, the last name was not a name you hear all the time. And the spelling was a little different. Okay. Oddly, another man in the same large market with the same last name, but not their family or relative, and they don't even know who he is. The same weird spelling? or Same uh, spelling. Okay. It's not super weird, but it's off enough. It's not like Smith or Walker or Johnson or Washington or, you know. Yeah. It's a little bit different. You don't see this name all the time, but everyone's heard of this name. But the spelling of it was barely different, too. So a guy with the same spelling as this name that's not it's a name we've heard of, but not that common, with a different name on the front, different first name, and then roofing after. Both have roofing companies in the same market. Hmm. The market has about half a million people in it. Okay. And um, the guy that they were around for like 11 years. I'm going to talk about tenure. This will segue into like, should I change a name? Should I not? And we, we did. And this was all the years doing this. I've never seen this. I've never even seen this, much less a phone call to me. I've never even looked around and seen to where somebody has Bob Smith and Mike Smith roofing in the same market trying to compete. Non-related, don't know each other, just right. coincidence. And it wasn't Bob Smith. It was a little more unique than that. Yeah. So, so let's just say Bob was the guy I'm talking to, right? And they had been around for a long time. I was actually talking to the son because the dad had done this a long time ago. I'm talking like 07 or something. The guy that was up top that came over the top of them only been around for about seven years. They'd been up for like 17 years. Hmm. But Mike Smith comes along, just as an example, not who we're talking to, uh, roofing, and he starts doing some videos, gets over 100 reviews. I mean, More signaling. More signaling. Oddly, Google does recognize these two as separate entities, but it's weird. And I'm like, hey, do you get any calls off your website right now? So th this will sum up all this. This is... And this isn't, you got to make your own decisions. We're not telling you what to do because there's no guarantees with Google. All we ever guarantee people is that we'll work as hard as possible. Right. We're smart as hell. We have ludicrous amount of knowledge and expertise and resources to deploy to fix these problems. And this is what I said, you do whatever you want to do. He's not a client yet. He's asked me these questions. This conversation is fascinating to me. So I talked to... J man about it. We went into all kinds of, you know, looking at it. And the guy came over the top of him and he's already like, if you type in roofer in just as a primary keyword, this major U.S. city and the state abbreviation, this other guy's already number eight. They're on mapping. They're number like 67. Oh, man. So even though their website's like, their web effort is like 15 years old and the other guy's like seven, the other guy's a pretty prolific marketer. And the son who's calling me, who I'm guessing is late 20s to early 30s, dad's retiring. Dad has an old website, but in this particular case, it's weird. So they don't get any phone calls anyway. I said, do you get confusion? Because I had confusion in the marketplaces. He said, we do. Said, so some of their clients call you and some of your clients. He said, yeah, that does happen. I said, and you don't get any calls? He said, no. And I said, well, this is really interesting. And he's like, I was going to change the name. He was going to change the name to just the last name. And as it was well, Smith roofing, that, that not really, but in our example, correct. Yeah. I was like, well, that'd be even worse and more confusing because you're taking away the one thing about it. That's different. And yeah. he said, well, can I call Google? He said, can I call Google and tell them what's going on? I said, no, they're, Google's not going to fight your legal battles for you. In fact, I would argue that this guy that's is getting benefit off of his website may have major issue with you. And there's no way to, you'll have to contact a, a you know, a, an attorney for a trademark or and, uh, intellectual property law yeah. to check this. But I can tell you that he might even have a better stance than you because he's been fighting for the ranking of the names. Of the, you know, he's branded his company. 
Yours is just kind of sitting there with a cruddy website. Longer, yes, but you neglected the heck out of it. This guy's got reach and all kinds of things. It's like the only thing you have going for you is tenure. You didn't do anything else. Right. Yeah. And then it becomes just like this legal battle that like we literally had a client die over a legal battle. We literally had a client die. He, he, he had, I don't even rem I remember what he changed the name to because he lost the legal battle. I don't remember the original name. He only lost the legal Oh, it was the it was the uh, it was the the abbreviation of the three cities. Okay. The the three cities here locally because yeah. local Yeah. Yeah, so we had a client that they had a site up, same sort of situation, guys a little older, instead of fighting this person up front, they let them get entrenched. The person that got entrenched fought them back. Yeah, it, took the name, then sued them. He lost, but only after he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, so, the, the, the case wasn't finished till after yeah, he so died. Yeah, so he was a little older. I, and and his, his, his wife and daughter settled the case just to get it over with. And just for the sake of saying so, by the way, for this, this is this, all this stuff is fascinating to me. But um, And RIP, by the way, he was just a nice old guy that was also with a little piss and vinegar that was been out of shape and wanted to fight about it. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have been getting his blood pressure up and worrying about these things. Right. But the name of this company was a general keyword phrase. Yeah. And it, so it was, it was the initials of a group of cities here in the DFW area that everybody uses those initials to refer to those three cities it, as a group. It could arguably be Anybody a from brand. the area now knows what we're talking about. It could arguably be a brand, but it might not be one and it'd be really hard to like fight a stance on it that this is mine. So, yeah. so they're there, but these are dudes names. And so I was like, if it were me and I, it, he said, well, I'm worried we're going to lose referral business. I said, well, that's, I can't help you with that. I said, how much referral? He said, we might do 50 roofs a year of referral. And I'm like, and he said, if our name isn't up there, I'll lose it. And I was like, I may just leave it like this. I said, you can't just go run a simultaneous company. Doesn't really work that way. And I don't want to get into all that right now. But if you, you can't just go throw up another dot com, I do, I will say, you can't just throw up another dot com, get some fake address, which we didn't even go into all that, <laughs> Regis Da Vinci, your mama's house or whatever, yeah. and just start trying to make another one. I've never seen it work. Not yeah, once. No, it, I, it doesn't. We won't help you do it because it's the wrong attitude to have. You're supposed to be getting a specific brand signaling through to Google so that you can deserve to show up in ranking. And when the effort goes in that direction, it's a great party and return on investment. Right. So um, you can't really just change that. Now he's going to lose this though. And he's like, well, I could, you could leave it. You could not become a client you could leave it. And I said, most people wouldn't go into all this with you, but if I bring you on as a client, this doesn't work out. We make nothing. You make nothing. Chance of this not working out is a little higher than most. It's a weird situation. And, uh, so I said, but you want to progress and do better. Right. And he said, what do you mean? I said, your dad paid for your whole family respect to him, of course, but you're looking as a son to better it. Correct. To you take want, it further. You yeah. want to take it further. Your dad wants you to take it further and you want to make more money. Am I wrong or right? That's why you called a marketing company in the first place. And he said, yeah. I said, if you don't change this and fix this, and you leave it status quo because you might lose a little bit. I said, there's a long-term loss for a short-term benefit, but it's not my call to make. But if you leave the website like it is, you will inherit and continue the same company, which will probably eventually go down further because you're going to have a hard time replenishing without yeah. your leads. Because you, you will, you've already got one guy with a similar name yeah. marketing harder in your market. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you're going to have another one doing more in your market and another one and another one until you're pushed so there was so far down there's nothing left. i don't know being anybody else take the same name but you well, know well i mean i'm uh, not even saying same name i'm just saying people in the market other, yeah other people in the market are gonna work i've never once like looked into pack three and said like unless it was like a national chain which doesn't exist in roofing really but like amco transmission or so i've seen right. some weird stuff like that but i've never seen like you know bob smith roofing mike smith roofing like boom boom Maybe once in a, in a different category. As a digital marketer, if I saw that, I would say, oh, that's the same person getting two GVPs. <laughs> that's what I would think. And I will tell you this, if it happened, and I can't tell, Google may or may not want to show that. Yeah. It's weird. And people may or may not turn it in. So there's just too many ifs. Somebody might the, do that and get away with it for a little while, but chances are eventually Google will notice so and knock one down.
I don't know what the guy's going to do. He he's a he was a cool guy. He listened to me, and it was an interesting situation. And I, and I and I can't tell him what right or wrong move to make. Yeah. And and we understand that these are not easy moves to make. No. You've got a company that's existed no. for twenty years or however long it has. I don't think his dad wanted to see the name disappear. Yeah, but and, it is what it is. And someone's telling you this. I mean, we get it that you don't want to do that. It's 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 an, yeah, it's not, not an easy. Decision. We're not righteously sitting up here saying what somebody should and shouldn't do. These are the, w- I, what I am saying. If anybody mistook our, you know, we're confident. We know what the hell is going on with everything, and we give great advice on that. Right. The situations are tough, and there's no right or wrong because yeah. people ask us to guarantee. It's like we don't tell we. We, we do gr- better work than anybody I know of, but we can't tell Google what to do. And some of these are like, well, knowing what happens here is like, you don't know for sure. These are the 10 different things that could happen. Yeah. That, that's th- Whenever someone asks me, what if I do this? I'll, I'll yeah. end up giving them like five or six different possibilities. Right. I'm like, and there may be some that I, that I have never seen before that might happen. Right. Because it changes all the time. And ju- just as a, for instance, right now we're in fall of 2022. Um once upon a time, hell, early this earlier this year, if we had a client get a Google business profile suspended, uh, we do reinstatement usually within five days back up. Usually we get it. Yeah. Reinstatements uh, for Google business profiles now are backed up almost 60 days. Wow. They're super slow right now. And nobody can give us, nobody has an answer, like even other people in the industry or like, I don't know, they're just slow right now. I mean, you don't want to go on, on. you got Greybeard Construction, and you hear this podcast and go, Greybeard, and you dial into your Google business profile, and you're like, Greybeard Construction and Roofing. And then Google goes conk and suspend. Wait, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, and then they call, and you can't get a hold of me, or you can, and uh, or email, and um, they say, prove it, and then you... You have your documentation. You don't, but this sort of stuff happens all the time, and we we'll, we'll have clients, and we'll, we'll manage this for them. It's one of our clients should never like make a change without consulting because it's so sensitive. Yeah, you know? that's always the most frustrating thing is we've had clients that will say, "Hey, we moved or we changed our name, and I, I got into the GVP and I made the change, and now I'm not seeing myself come up today, and I'm you know I'm just like instant migraine." It's a diff- <laughs> it's a different. Podcast again, but we yeah. had somebody move from a populous area and with a legitimate business location address that Google liked the type. And they and were then, doing great. And they're doing great. And then they moved to the country in the same town, but arguably not a uh, populous area or within the main spot of where stuff optimizes. Yeah. And fell off and lost everything and then canceled as a client of no fault of our own. Yeah. And didn't ask or didn't say anything. In fact, yeah, they, they came to us after they made all the moves and we couldn't stop in it. In fact, more demanded that stuff that Google and everything bend to their will. Yeah. And, and, and then blaming. And, and the, the idea of all this ought to be you want the safest name, you want the best signaling, you want the most unique brand, and then you work on digital signaling so that you deserve to show up and organic rankings, whether it's map or reputation reviews and organic keywords that click through to your website. And all of that ties in together and the name is sensitive. So if you've been in the same market for a long time, if there's not any controversy with another uh, company, if the brand is already, uh, you know, if it has a word that's brandable, the name's not perfect, but the word and the thing is brandable. Or if you're already getting business off of it, if you have a high domain authority, these are all reasons um, that you might not change it. Right. So you you're at, you're getting some business. Google recognizes it. You're not offensive to another company there or take someone else's name. That again, that's your own stuff to have to look at. You've been doing this a long time and have trust and tenure with Google. You don't think you have these things, but I say you might. And what I mean is. You have been up for five years. You've only got nine reviews, and you've never gotten stuff off uh, much off of your Google web presence. But if you spun it and got it working properly, all that trust and tenure is worth something, and you would get business off of it. Right. Um, so there are some things you might not think you have much, but we look at it and go, "You got a lot." It's like, "Oh, you've got this. You've got this. This is a good foundation to build." Uh, a whole lot of Rosie, uh, ACDC. <laughs> there you go. What is that line? 
That's what it is. A whole lot of roses. Yeah, but what's the? You ain't got much, but you got a lot. I don't remember. Oh that. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I think that she is got actually. a lot. Anyway, sorry, showing my age. I was a, <laughs> a whole lot of rosy there, but you might have a lot. Yeah. You may not think you got much. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have more than you think. But you if, got a if lot. If you've been online for a long time, that is a good start. Nolan Walker here for Roofing Webmasters. I want you to consider becoming one of our clients. We've done this for 12 years, have hundreds of clients. We help everybody with their design, their code, their content, showing up on Google as high as possible. Clients get regular call volume. If you've never experienced what I call the big show, showing up on Google organically, which is where the vast majority of the clicks occur on your map, your reputation, your reviews, your organic keyword ranking, you owe it to yourself to try us. We even have proprietary software that we own called data pens that lets you post pictures of jobs, unique captions that increase keywords and long tail keywords, uh, your rankings on Google, text and emailing clients about reviews, even posting pins and photos and captions back to Google. All this helps your organic rankings. Data pens is fantastic and the work we do here at Roofing Webmasters is fantastic. Please give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. So if you got a, uh, if you got trust, if you got tenure, if you got some reviews, if you've been up a while, if you got domain authority, somebody can help you with that. You can look up free domain authority checker. If your domain authority is over a 10, there's some reasons you want to change this stuff. You'd be careful that you've got a platform to do better. We would be happy to assess it for you, obviously, by the way, uh, what we think would be the best course of action. Um, and, and seriously, probably about half of all people have a problem or could potentially have a problem. And then is it in a, a small market? You know, do you not have the word roof, but you're in the Northeast? Might be okay. Yeah. Are you on the outskirts of a larger town? But if all this stuff kind of convenes on a large town and stuff is languishing, you're calling around looking for leads, you distrust all digital marketing agencies that have led you to listen to uh, weird and name things like this podcast here, <laughs> like us droning on about, <laughs> about ancient music. Yeah. <laughs> if you have, though, if that's you, I mean, there could be an issue. This could be why, this could be one of the reasons why yeah. things haven't worked. And by the way, most digital marketing agencies don't have the knowledge, don't have the experience, don't have the resources to help you with it. Don't well, very few people will tell you, oh, you got to change the name of your company because nobody likes to hear that. Yeah, they don't have the guts. They don't have that. Most people want to sell people and make money on it. And most of the time you're talking to a salesperson. Right. So I still talk to everybody. I like talking to people. I, I like talking to everybody. If you don't get somebody like me or Jason helping you and you just get a sales guy, they'll braze over this to take your money and then throw it up and it keeps not working and there's fundamental underlying issues. Right. If you get me on the phone and own the company, you know, I know you're going to leave if this stuff isn't fixed. The guy with a similar last name, Smith and Smith or whatever, I don't know. It might work, might not. Yeah. But it, but it, but it's easy to rip the Band-Aid right now. Later, I always say later, you rip a Band-Aid off now, you chop an arm off later. Right. Chop an arm and a leg off later, your wheelchair bound later. You know, like it, it just the pain of a change as your brand gets entrenched and trusted through Google and begins to show up in ranking, it gets worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Every once in a while, Jason, I, somebody calls up here and it's like, uh, hello, guys, I've gone officially insane and I'm going to change, <laughs> I'm going to change the name of my company. Yeah. Remove like, like we had, uh, we had this happen. I'll tell this one. And I think it, I know who you're referring to. I'm not going to gonna mention any names, yeah. but we had a client that had done fabulously well. Yeah. So fabulously well that they sold the company. The new owners somehow melded. It was a weird, it was a weird merger deal. deal. It was very strange. No, no, no companies mentioned at all. It, but they decided for whatever reason, and we don't know why, we could just be dummies here and they're smart and we're dumb or whatever. But all well, given I, the last communication I had with them, I'm pretty sure they're smart. Well, <laughs> all that we know happened was that a very successful uh, company changed the name, still had the word roof in, had the word roof in the first time and the second time, but they changed it radically. Yeah. 
They changed the company radically and had to change, because the name changed radically, they had to change the dot-com, change company name and GBP. These are radical changes. Actually, we got Google, This it's even better. We got Google to accept a name change on the GBP, mm -hmm. and then they let somebody in their office make a new GBP and get the good GBP with 50-some-odd reviews on it suspended. Is that what happened? Yep. Oh, my God. But anyway, the, the, the name was changed, and it just... It was the uh, it, it was the end of Google's understanding and trust of the brand. Yeah, the name was changed, new domain, no redirects were allowed. Yeah, because there was some legal thing where there could be no connection between the old and new company. Yeah, it, and, it, it, but we and, and that's just one example. Yeah, that that has happened where someone is successful dozens of times in our thirteen years of yeah. business, dozens of times. So you had to be careful about it, but. It's not that scary, and if you have good support like like us, it's not that hard. But it is hard to find people like us to help you, and then you except we're right here. We're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> but so we can go over this. We can help, and then your job is to digitally uh, show good faith to Google. They grade that and determine where you should show up. And again, it's a different podcast. It'd take another hour to go into all that. Yeah. But um, we'll help you with it. And we'd love to figure, we love helping with these things. I, I don't know, I, I didn't always used to like these. And I think part of the reason we is- We used to avoid them because they were such a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, you couldn't fix it. Yeah, The, the longer we've done this, we have great resources. We tend to be able to fix it. Google tends to respond to change when stuff like this is fixed. Right. And then we have tools like data what, when, when and you're, staff. When you're, Presence online, your GBP, your website are all kind of jumbled and screwy, and Google doesn't know what to make of it. When someone goes in and gets everything lined up, Google looks at it and goes, oh, finally. Yeah, and it's been fun for us. Um, I find some joy in it and flexing our muscle and fixing problems like this. And this is one of many that we go into. This is just the name. Yeah, one just thing. the name, much <laughs> less, you know, the pages or the phony blog entries and all the other crud that people have wrong with everything. But it's fun to fix it, and we, I, I kind of have gotten to enjoy it more. And I don't lament the loss of a tough conversation because I know that we'll lose anyway because of how we structure a new client setup and month-to-month -month agreement. We don't make any money. And if somebody comes in with a tough situation that's not fixed, they're gonna f it, it doesn't work anyway. Right. So right. there's no loss, uh, at least that way we prevent time. And then a lot of times I'll have these conversations and we'll pick them up a year later, two years later, after they continue to have the same problem or someone else told them they could ignore it and yeah. it doesn't ignore work. Ignore it or they told them that there was some complete BS solution that had nothing to do with the actual yeah. problem. Or, we'll yeah. spend all your money on paid ads and funnel it through these landing pages and everything's going to be fantastic, you know, and it doesn't turn out that way. But I, I like it when people get to participate in the big show, get organic right. popping, and they, it makes a happy client. Yeah. It literally makes a happy client. And anybody listening that hasn't ever participated in the big show and gotten up dominant in ranking, it's really the first thing you should be thinking about. I want to get up there it's like and try to remove any biases or just random thoughts that you, you put in there to to uh, make yourself feel better about not being there. Yeah. Everybody in there is having a pretty good time of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything that tells you you can't get there or you don't want to be there, which is insane, just get it out of your head. Well, you people can get there. make general comments trying to disclaimer it to feel better about it or just to ignore it because they think it's too hard, like, oh, it's all paid. Yeah. Or it's all this, or only people have been around a long time get up there, or only the biggest people are up there, but the pe biggest people, they're the biggest because they're up there. They're the biggest because they're up there, yeah. they're not up there because they're the biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, we spent that topic, man. Like yeah. and subscribe. If you'd like the best help there possibly is, it is us. It is Call Roofing Webmasters. Below. Roofing Webmasters combined with DataPen software um, will fix not only this, but literally hundreds of little issues. It's mind-boggling all the little tiny things we'll fix and uh this is an interesting one and totally up to you and we'll we'll wrap about it and help you with it if you uh want to go into this particular detail right take it easy we'll see you see ya